Yes, well, back with you. Hello again, Jim Burns. What we got going on here is a little more in-depth discussion on these coil couplers here. Uh, since I made that one repair video on the uh, coil coupler, uh, I've gotten several questions. I, I thought I'd try to answer some of them just with uh, a little more in-depth conversation there. Uh, of course, this is our coil coupler here sitting on our UCS track. Uh, both Lionel products there. All right. As you can see, I got uh, 15 volts going hooked into the track here. <laughs> the center rail and the outer rail. And then, uh, of course, here's another one. Our sliding shoe will ride up and mate with one of these rails here, the inner rails, the activation rail, for unloading and uncoupling. What we have to, here's our uh, buttons on our control box here. All right. Uncouple and unload. All right. And I've, yeah, I've got the uh, meter set on AC volts, and then uh, I've got the bigger meter set on AC amps. So we can see what it takes to fire these couplers. All right, so let me do that first. Let me hit the uncouple button. So that was 1.2 amps, and... Uh, that's just real quick. You don't want to keep that button press down because you'll wind up melting stuff. So just one little click and that's all it takes. All right. So we'll close that again. We'll do it again. There it is. That's a properly working coil coupler. One and a half amps again on that. All right, so uh, someone had asked a while back, what if you don't have a UCS track to uh, test one of these? How do, how do you know the truck is any good and the coil's any good? Well, what we can do Let me get rearranged here, and I'll, I'll get this uncoupler track out of the way. All right, I got the uh, UCS track out of the way. Uh, but here's how you can test these if you don't have the UCS track. You just uh, get yourself some jumper cables. The green one's going over to the outside rail on the line there. And uh, I've got the transformer let's see I think we're, we're at about 10 volts here let me hook these back up again to the track just so we can gauge how much voltage we're working with it doesn't take a lot to fire these off so all right there's our center rail all right we're about what's that 10.39 volts ac volts all right now here's one i have partially disassembled this one's no good the coil gone in this one but uh we zoom in here a little bit all right this tab is the end of our coil the last wrap of coil comes up here all right and then that gets bent in such a shape where it goes 90 degrees straight down and it goes to the left 90 degrees and then that contact just spans the space from here to the sliding shoe all right 
And then if you activate the sliding shoe or rise up on those activation rails, it'll push up on that and make contact and hopefully fire off your coupler. All right. The center ro roller here has no purpose in this discussion. This was for a whistling tender, so that's what this was for. But it has nothing to do with the uh, uncoupler here. All right. So that's how it's supposed to function. And then, like I said, we've got 10 volts AC here on our meter. And then if you just take your center rail pickup or your uh, jumper cable here and just touch that tab and try to get it somewhere where you can see it here. There you go. It'll open up. Shouldn't take any more than that to get it to open up. Yeah. All right, so that's how you can test it uh, that way. And then I was asked, well, that's all fine and good, Jimmy, but uh, <laughs> what if I don't have an AC transformer at my disposal? Well, let me turn the AC off. Uh, let me swing you around here real quick. I can show you. This is a DC power supply that I use for my ceiling LED lights uh, for the nighttime view. All right. So we can turn that on. I'll dial that up to 10 volts too. All right, there's 10 volts. Let me grab those cables. We'll hook one side to the frame and the other. We'll touch the tab. There you go. It will open up. The coil doesn't care if it's getting AC or DC voltage to it all it knows is it's getting some power through there and it's gonna work all right so that's testing it with a DC power supply now this is uh, like if you had an HO transformer for HO trains but you had a car like this and you needed to test that so that would get you a test on it. Now what we can also do, let me grab these jumper cables real quick here. Get them off the rail. The transformers off. Alright, so let's hook the green one up to uh, the body of the truck here. Go to the outside rail. We'll leave this one loose for the moment. Okay, so now we can also use a 9 volt battery if you don't have a transformer of any kind. All right. There we go. Put that on the negative side of the battery. And then we can just hook that to the positive side. Now this might open slower with a 9 volt battery, but you take uh, your meter. Another way to test the coil itself is you put it on your ohm setting. And this little one, it's kilo ohms, but that's all right. 
Uh, we'll take a jumper cable from the black lead and I'll, let's put it as close to the coil as possible, which would be the coupler itself. And we'll take our red lead via the white jumper cable. And we'll touch our tab here. All right. And we're getting about, let me hold it still. <laughs> All right. Gotta hold it still. About nine ohms. Okay, now that's going through the body of your uh, truck there. So you're gonna, your ohms are gonna be higher than if you just test the wire itself. Okay, so that would tell you if the coil's good. If you get a reading similar to that, you'll know the coil's in one piece. There's no broken wires. All right, let me shut all this off. And just to explain that a little better, uh, if I can find what I did with it, here we are. This is you see all that? All this copper wire, magnet wire here. All right. That's 32 feet long, which gives you 400 windings around your draw bar tube here. All right. Yes, I counted them, 400. And uh, this is metal here. And it, so all of that wrapped around there, 400 times. Uh, it was actually 412, but it, the length of the... Uh, wire itself measures 32 feet exactly and this is a 0 0.008 inch number 32 AWG American wire gauge so that's the size of this wire and uh, if you do the the math on this 32 feet should give you about six ohms not going through the body of the coupler or the uh, the truck. So as you can see here, this uh, draw bar tube, it's peened over onto this insulator board here. All right, that's the. And then it has the wire caught under here, which contacts the the frame of our truck, all right? <clears throat> then 400 turns later, it comes out and winds up on soldered to that little tab which I showed you earlier, that right here. That right there. That's the end of the coil. And that goes over to the slide shoe. So this is metal, if I didn't say that before. And uh, then that'll pull the plunger in and uh, activate it. Now this particular coil of wire, like I said, this, uh, this coupler, this particular one, it did not work anymore, so I knew the coil was bad after testing it. Uh, coupler's still good, so I'm gonna save it. The parts are still good, the plunger, the springs, all of that, we can reuse it, but the uh, the coil wire itself was broken, and uh, I don't know if I can say, yeah, here, the one end of it, where it was broken, this was about 200 trips around the draw bar tube. So it was covered up, that wire was broken. And uh, there's the other end of it right there. Looks like it, you can see it, looks like it heated up a little bit. Hard to see, but uh, all right. 
So that's it there. 32 feet of number 32 American wire, gauge wire, magnet wire. And uh, get you 400 wraps around there. And that, that will give you your coil coupler. And uh, of course, not too many people are going to go through all this, but I, I thought I'd give it a little more in depth explanation of instead of just repairing it I wanted to show you how it's actually made up and you know all of that get you some facts and figures maybe help explain it a little better all right so I think we're we're good to go on this subject uh, if anybody has any questions let me know but uh, not much else I can say about these uh, all right. Toodles.